suggesting this is now <coughs> Arsenal's biggest game of the season, which is a great compliment to you. But for the first time, we really heard Arsene Wenger get stuck into his players. Do, do you think he believes they're capable of, of, of coming and showing the fighting spirit that's going to be needed here this weekend? Well, they beat us last week, and um, they came from behind in that game with about 15 minutes to go. And while we've been, um, we've been pretty used ourselves to scoring in the last minute of matches and winning games, and um, we scored uh, pretty late on in uh, proceedings a few nights earlier in the in the cup tie against Middlesbrough. I think that Arsenal have shown those sort of qualities throughout their time. I mean, I'm uh, I, there's no possibility of me criticising Arsenal for what they have done over the years. They have, I think, they've qualified for the Champions League every single year. Was it for about 13 years or something? I guess yeah, I might be wrong by a year or two, one way or the other. But it's extraordinary at the end of it. And what people are trying to talk about is winning a, a cup competition. I believe, regardless of the result on Wednesday, that they would have come here today um, uh, or, or um, feeling that, um, um, so that today, I mean tomorrow, feeling that, um, that they're capable of winning the, not only our game, but feeling they're capable of winning the FA Cup in, in, in itself. From last weekend to this weekend, what do you have to do differently to inflict more misery on them? Well, that's, um, that's a real tone of questioning there, you know. We didn't, they inflicted misery on us last week. They won the game, and we have to try and reverse that and win the game. So in actual fact, I, I would have thought that the question should be, what can we do to reverse the trend of losing the game? We had been beating ourselves and uh, I thought a wee bit unluckily and um, I felt that um, maybe um, maybe on the in the scheme of things with some of the possession that they had in the game, one or two chances that we had ourselves that perhaps maybe a draw might have been a fair result. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't the case. We ourselves have to try and win a game. We've got an advantage because we're at home. We've got the crowd behind us at this moment. And, um, and we would want to try and utilise any advantage we have. Last week, we played, a, <coughs> we played away from... Sorry, we, <coughs> no, did we play away from home midweek, but uh, we played about 120 minutes. I thought we'd get a wee bit tired. I'm hoping that because they've had midweek exertions, that it might reverse itself. That doesn't necessarily happen, but um, any little advantage that we have, we're going to try and have to utilise it. And just finally, if you can win <coughs> the time, would you allow yourself to start thinking, you know, with respect to the other teams that will still be left in the competition, it would put you in there with a, a great chance in your first season, <coughs> wouldn't it? I know, dude, with, with the greatest respect in the world, we haven't won the tie. We face a really difficult game. I think it would have been a difficult game regardless of the result midweek. Um, and I just, um, I, I mean, we're looking forward to the game. We've got a fair idea of what we have to do to try and win the match. We'll have to play very, very strongly. We'll have to play strongly for 90 minutes in the game to give ourselves a chance. Otherwise, Arsenal are, are very, very capable of beating us. Martin, did you, did you get the sort of reaction this week in, in training and when you look back at the game from the players that, that you hoped for? Well, the players have, um, um, well, certainly it's, uh, in the last couple of months, I, and it's the only time I've known the players, I couldn't have asked for any more from them in terms of effort and, uh, and, and real determination to try and win a game of football. Every single game we've played, we've uh, felt that we're in with a chance. And, uh, and, the, and the games that we've lost, we've always been in. But uh, I, I'm... I, I think the attitude has been terrific. If we get beaten uh, tomorrow, it won't be because of, uh, of lack of application. In terms of injuries, can you give us an update, a chance to see you leave tomorrow, possibly? 
Well, uh, Lee has trained this week, which is really good news. Uh, Matthew Kilgallen has trained uh, this week. He trained at the back end of last week when it was a wee bit too early for him. And at least those, uh, those two players now, that's encouraging to have uh, a couple of players back. David Vaughan is uh, not a million miles away, which, um, but obviously uh, uh, tomorrow would come too, uh, too soon for him. And we have a couple of long-term injuries, uh, Wes and Titus, uh, from that viewpoint. But you know, with the, with the, um, with the addition of, uh, of um, our two lone players, who haven't had a chance yet, really, and obviously um, are desperately keen to get on the field of play at some stage, you know, for the first time in, in some time, we're looking a wee bit more healthy. Um, I know Nick Bender has uh, tweeted pictures of him in his, in his protective mask. Is he able to train in that? He is, yeah, he has trained the last day or two. <coughs> I'm really surprised because he's got so many adverts and such things on his mask that he can actually see out of it. But uh, he seems to assure us that he can do, you know. I think he's got his number, date of birth, um, uh, obviously the Danish flag, any other flag that you care to, to mention, I think is on it, and um, I think he has to pick it up to have a look out through it. But so, anyway, it's good, good news, really good news. He's ineligible, of course, to play because we've got Arsenal, and um, but he should be, uh, he should be ready for the weeks ahead. Is he the sort of player that I know he's, he's young, <coughs> but a lot of experience? Can you use him? Or Especially in a game like this, because you're someone within your camp who knows a lot about Arsenal and an experienced striker that can help. Well, I think that we know we'd know uh, enough about Arsenal. I haven't uh, asked Nick to give me a rundown. <laughs>